Hello, my name's Daniel. Today we're reading Raccoon and the Hot Air Balloon by Jill Atkins and Kristen Humphrey. So get comfy and I'll begin. Raccoon lived on the edge of the forest. She was happy, but what she really wanted was an adventure. Just then, she heard a screech. A baby eagle had fallen from its nest. It was stuck between two branches. Raccoon climbed up the tree and freed the chick. She carefully carried it back to its nest. The enormous mother eagle swooped down. Raccoon was a little scared, but the great bird bowed her head and said, Thank you, Raccoon. Raccoon returned to the hollow in her tree. I wish I could fly like an eagle, she sighed. She closed her eyes and was soon fast asleep dreaming of faraway places where she could go if she could fly. Suddenly, she was woken by a roaring sound. Opening her eyes, she saw a wonderful sight. A hot air balloon flew over the forest and landed in a field. I'm going to ride in that, exclaimed Raccoon. I could fly over the treetops and see the chick in the nest. It would be such a fantastic adventure. She scampered to the field. There was no one in the basket, so she climbed in. She nibbled through the rope with her sharp teeth. Up shot the hot air balloon. Whee! I'm flying! It's the beginning of my great adventure! The balloon kept going up and up. It flew by the eagle's nest. Raccoon waved to the chick. The mother eagle watched the balloon fly by. Far below, Raccoon saw rivers and forests and fields. This is such an exciting adventure! After a while, Raccoon began to feel hungry. It's time to go down for my lunch, she thought. She pushed a button, but the hot air balloon wouldn't go down. She pulled a cord, but there was a roar as a flame whooshed out. It made the balloon go even higher. Help! I can't get down, she shouted. She kept shouting, but the ground got further and further away. At that moment, she heard a swoosh of wings. The mother eagle landed on the basket. I'll help you, she said, and away she flew. When she came back, she was carrying a large stone in her talons. She dropped it in the basket. She flew off, leaving Raccoon alone again. Suddenly, birds of many different sizes and colours came from all over the forest. Following the mother eagle, they all dropped stones in the basket. Slowly, the basket began to go down and down, till Raccoon could see her own tree again. Eventually, the balloon landed with a bump. Thank you, called Raccoon. That was a fantastic adventure, but I'm glad to be home. But all at once, she heard a chugging sound. I'm going in that, exclaimed Raccoon. I think it's time for another adventure. Thanks for listening. See you next time.